Uh, well, um, punting weather. It's great, great weather. And um, it's very conducive for punting. You know, it's uh, compared to Berkeley where it's a lot colder and, and windier. And uh, But it's great. I, I, having uh, someone here is a different mentality, different coach. And um, he's a great the coach to play for us, which is Springer. I feel like Springer's past punters have been uh, Drew Kayser and Tanger Buko both playing for the Chargers right now. So he's got great um, previous punters. He knows what he's doing for sure. So. Out of here. So well, you saw the, the punting situation here from afar last year. What did you think? Uh, they needed help for sure. Um, so that's why I kind of reached out to them, and that's why he came back to me. Um, but Jake's been getting well, and he's pushing me every day. So it keeps me on my toes for sure. There's no, no starting punter right now and up until game one. So, But, yeah, we keep uh, playing against each other and pushing each other to be the best punter we can. How would you describe your style as a punter? Definitely you know, a normal style punter, pro style punter for sure. Uh, just regular two-step punter, and um, yeah. No, I, uh, we did l rugby's last year at Cal. Uh, I had some success with that, but it wasn't really my style. And now that we're here, Springer's a big, big pro guy, and he does a lot of pro um, drills, a lot of pro uh, just style, and it's, it's very conducive and very helpful for me. Why did you leave Cal? Uh, well, me. Uh, well, we have a good program out here, and um, wanted to change scenery. I love to use the um, opportunity to for the senior transfer, grad transfer rule. So, and um, we also had Coots, who's a good punter, and we were competing both ways, but um, I'm glad I came here. This, the, this place right now is probably the best school in the country to set me up-wise for the professionals, just for punting-wise and with a special springer, too. So, sure. big, big, uh, big setup for pros. So you're ma majoring in legal studies at Cal? So, yeah, so I graduated from Cal in legal studies, which is pre-law degree. And right now I'm in Masters of uh, Educational Leadership. So that's Educational Leadership? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And did that program appeal to you too? Is that part of it? Yeah. So um, if I don't make the pros, which is the main goal, of course, I uh, would to do any sort of uh, law enforcement or federal agents. And they looked for poli-sci degrees, law degrees, and also leadership degrees. And uh, the Educational Leadership program, uh, even though it's for schooling-wise, it's very uh, broad in type of leadership, being a leader and how to properly motivate people and get the uh, process you need. And, uh, so it's just great. So it's When were you able to first start contacting schools or coaches or what have you? So I asked for my release uh, in December. I didn't get a full release until about January, I believe, is when I got my full release. And as soon as I got my full release, um, then Arizona contacted me. Or I, I was uh, talking to them at first at a &M, which I could before. And once they came to uh, Arizona, they could talk to me once they got my full release. So around January-ish is when I, I believe that's when I got my full release. So okay. And did you graduate from Cal in December or in spring or? Uh, I graduated in spring. In spring. Okay. Yeah, I graduated in May, so that's when I was uh, finished and was able to transfer. So. Did you know Coach Springer before through channels or anything? Or yes, I actually, I did. Um, so I knew Change Tribuco, uh, which was his previous winner at a &M. and then also my coach Mike McKay, one on kicking. He is also great friends with Springer and knew him very well, and also Shane. So he put me in contact with him. So how is Springer different from the other coaches that you've had? Uh, Springer is a really a real big players coach, and that he understands a lot of things, and that he will set you up to be successful. If right now I'm struggling with, with rugby's, I'm not game ready with rugby's, but and he understands this. He's like extra work with that. He's not. You know, if we're not game ready rugby's, we won't use it. We'll do. We'll punt the best that you can punt, and we'll set you up to be the best opportunity for you. And then he also does a lot of drills that just are very pro punning, where a lot of coaches don't want to understand that that much. So, but I'm very happy with Springer. He's an excellent coach, a big players coach for sure. So you missed the first part of camp, I guess, while waiting for grades to become post posted. How did you stay sharp during that time? Uh, a lot of drills. Uh, I came by myself and just punted on the practice when everyone was done during lunch time. Uh, just that's how you do is you come your own time. It's a little boring because you don't know, like to punt by yourself, but you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Um, instead of just sitting around, you know, wasting time, you got to come out here and get better. So, so these guys are they were a week ahead of me, so I had to catch up for sure. Did you play other positions when you were younger? I did in high school. I uh, played uh, middle linebacker my freshman year, and I was just started kicking. I didn't know what I was doing kicking-wise. But uh, then I fractured my foot playing around linebacker, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe kicking might be more better for me because I don't get injured. So <laughs> and it worked out. So I'm very happy with that. And what, did you fracture when you were a freshman? I was a freshman, yeah. I fractured mm -hmm. the middle of my foot and uh, line playing linebacker. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just kick. And uh, that's a long story short. And did you um, 